The earth rang from the magnitude 6.5 earthquake west of Yellowstone. The heli plots will tell us what's been going on, how it's been felt throughout the whole world, and the latest quake swarms, they are still happening. Let's remember that it's an area of a mantle plume, magma, underneath the area that starts from the mantle plume coming from Baja, California, basically splitting into what looks like a Y, and uh, the western part goes into the west coast of California, feeding the high threat volcanoes of uh, the Walker Lake Fault System, as we see here. And that other parallel part to it goes is San Andre, you can see the Walker Lane right there. And then the uh, eastern part goes through Utah and into Wyoming and Yellowstone. And also feeding, as you can see here, very shallow. You can see Yellowstone right there and uh, feeding the area right under where we've had our, and are still having our earthquake swarm. This is a map of it, a rough area. Of course, the shaking was a lot more than this. And it was about 190 miles west of Yellowstone in Idaho. This is a cross section of that mantle plume from Baja through Utah into Yellowstone. And we even had a quake up in uh, Canada as well. The USGS maps don't show Canada, but I, we ha I have a, my tab open, the page open for the Canadian earthquake. So let's take a look at the maps together. So here we are at Sizeville, Berkeley. This is our 6.5 area. I had uh, opened it before and we'll open it again. See how many reported it. Uh, I think about 33,000 the last time I looked. Uh, we'll let that open up. But anyway, this is our latest, as you can see here, there's um, the last time I looked, there were 33 quakes. There's a lot more now, obviously. The red is the past hour. You can see right there. The past hour. And this is what's been happening all day today. Okay, that one is how much? 2.6. And uh, that was a 6.5. And then we had a 4.6. And we had a, a lot of threes. And then we had the 4.1, and what's this one here? Another 4.4. As you can see, they're not that small. Uh, they're all shallow, and this one is the latest one. Okay, They're all in the same area. And um, this is still not opened up. Okay, here we go. Oh, 37, almost 38,000 have reported it to USGS. And the shaking shaking uh, as you can see this is Yellowstone Lake right here now of course this they stopped the shaking map in this in this square here but uh, if you extrapolate that out as we said before uh, you can understand where where it will reach look how intense it is it, that would they felt it in Seattle this is basically very close to Boise Idaho I would assume that a lot of those Thousands of people that reported were from Boise, Idaho, because otherwise there's not that many uh, in that area. There's not that much population. So uh, I would venture to say that it has definitely rocked um, San Andreas, and maybe even Los Angeles felt it. And they're still ongoing. This is our Baja area that we had. Remember, we had, well, we're not going to talk about Mexico or or uh, Guatemala quakes, but the Baja did have a couple of uh, weeks back, they did have a 5.2, 5.3 there. We did have a 5.7, that's uh, the, uh, okay, Salt Lake City, Salt Lake City Lake, that's Salt Lake City, right there, that's Salt Lake, and then we have Utah Lake right under, this whole thing was a lake at one point. And that's very soft sediment there. And that's why, because of the liquefaction, that's why they had the damage on the uh, Mormon Temple of Latter-day Saints. The spiral in the statue had damage, and other buildings, bricks fell. And um, those quakes are still ongoing there. And this one was a big, that, that was a surprise, by the way. The 5.7 came out of nowhere. And the uh, quake swarm uh, continues, even today. Okay, there we go. Salt Lake City, even today, right there. Okay, they're still ongoing. And uh, 
In the meantime, we had this one here out of nowhere, that five magnitude in Texas. Okay, take my word for it. That's a five magnitude that that shook. And that's still a quake quorum going on. So they, they're like boom, and then they have the swarms. And then they have the boom, and then they have the swarms. They took the big one off there, the 5.7. They can't possibly have everything there. And then we have this boom at 5.6.5, uh, and the, the quakes were ongoing. So something is very going on very strange there. Now, we don't know. We know that this mantle plume, as we saw before, is the west coast and going into Utah, which has eight volcanoes. The last one erupted 660 years ago. And into uh, Yellowstone supervolcano. And the ma as we saw on the map, the magma is under there. Remember that thing that we had there, that ta that uh, tangent, the set cross section? That's magma under there. Very, very uh, shallow magma. Very, very shallow. Uh, most, of, most of the magma is three miles under the surface of Wyoming, of Yellowstone. And this is the, the caldera right there. The lake is at the southeastern part of the caldera. This is the caldera. Okay. And um, this is the Canadian. They even had a quake up in Canada there just north of that, okay, the same day. Okay, UTC was uh, a little before that quake, as a matter of fact, because that quake was at, what time was that? 6.5 was at UTC, um, around midnight, okay? And this one was, uh, yeah, around uh, uh, 8 o'clock in the evening. So, and then you have, of course, you have the, today's quakes, it's um, past hour, to, uh, the, not the, today's quakes this is a past hour this one here okay and as we can see that remember that that is an area of an yellowstone like super volcano let me i i said that's the blake river thing the mega mega caldera multiple caldera right there look at that activity look at that activity you don't see it on this map but um that's a VEI-8. You can see some there, upstate New York or whatever. And we've had a lot of activity. Uh, there's been an uptick in earthquakes there. And there's magma there. There is magma there under Maine and Quebec. There's magma there. And these things here are 30 uh, undersea volcanoes. They're the East Coast Seamount. 30 volcanoes, underwater volcanoes. And... Um, and that, of course, is the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Whenever USGS says, uh, we, shouldn't have, we don't have too many volcanoes on the East Coast because it's not at the end of the uh, tectonic plate, which is right there. The North American tectonic plate is there. But they forget to tell us that we have magma under there. And that was a super volcano. It is still act it's still active. We can see, I used to live in Montreal, and there's like, I don't know how many volcanoes there, cinder cones and stuff. And, I, and when I found this out, after, after of course leaving, decades later, I say, well, my God, you know? ah. and then we have these these things going on, and um, some of these quakes, uh, you know, in Rhode Island, in uh, uh, north of Boston, upstate New York, Pittsburgh, and and now we have this thing going on. Okay, that is uh, the the extension of the New Madrid seismic zone, that thing, which is a rift valley. But the Texas quake is, I would say, the mantle that's under the mid-continental rift going this way. And it goes into Texas and then turns into um, New Mexico, uh, from what we said before in previous videos what, that we found out. So uh, Ridgecrest is still going, as we can see. OK, let's go to the heli plots. Oh, oh no, I, I, yeah, I want to see the, t the time. Look at the time. Okay, the time is about midnight. It's just before April 1st, okay? It's just like um, UTC time. So let's go to the heli plots. Where are they? Okay, sorry, this one here. Okay, there we go. Uh, this is it right here. Okay, around... Uh, so it starts at 18, this is about 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock midnight, 
and it takes a couple of minutes to come down of course but you know this is it right here okay this is around midnight you see that it's around midnight okay there we go around midnight look at that and there's even more of course okay that's it and let's go back to this and you can see a lot more okay this one is uh ongoing april 1st because it starts at on the 18th uh, 18th hour of uh, march 31st and today's april 1st and i wish everybody a very good month and um okay this is what they fer they felt in antigua barbados and uh, there's still of course earthquakes going on there as well but panama at the same time as you can see okay and uh china and everything is rocking because of that not available alaska okay russia alaska philippines tuvalu is always uh they've all this very very active okay armenia and there we go we keep going down norway finland hawaii norway again chile russia and that's what's the canary island something is going on there of course it's a volcanic area kazakhstan ecuador australia spain basically all the same time as you could see okay south pacific hawaii and keep going and we keep going south dakota look at that look at that puerto rico greenland baja california look at this okay pennsylvania and uh oh, something's going on there in russia you can see i don't know where that is arizona as you can see there indiana tennessee something's strange there and ohio michigan minnesota idaho there you go new york of course we know that on the east coast of course they could feel it much more because of the fact that it's softer alabama what's that in kansas something, something went on there it must be a glitch or something in virginia virginia utah south dakota pennsylvania and it keeps going okay. as you can see new hampshire texas arkansas colorado montana Washington, South Carolina, Mississippi, and um, you can understand the whole of the United States shook. Of course, uh, one thing is shaking, another thing is feeling it, depending on how big it is. But looking at the shake map, again, where did it go to? It is so intense. Where did it go to? I mean, we've, it was felt all the way up here. Uh, again, of course, the, the frequency may have been uh, a lot um, less, so the people, I don't know, maybe they had a feeling that they were rocking or shaking or feeling unsteady. But uh, this was a very, very intense earthquake, as we saw. And again, this is a magma. You can see how close it is to the surface. This is what's in the area. So all of you, please keep safe. And God bless you. Thank you for your support. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, 
you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, and Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.